We're looking at football cards from the Jefferson R. Berta collection uh, that are part of a larger uh, collection of trade cards and postcards that came into the museum in the 1950s. What I've tried to do is lay things out chronologically so that you see the earliest set that was produced in the 1890s um, uh, through the latest set that we have, which is 1959, a bazooka set. So you see the evolution from tobacco products to gum, so they're trying to appeal to a younger market. Um, a larger, more diverse market. Um, I also wanted to show a variety of types of images. So you have um, things that look more like photography, and then you have colorful and beautiful uh, color lithographs. Um, and just to show different sizes and different, um, I guess, styles of producing cards. Uh, the appeal is to see um, our history. I mean, sports is so much a part of the history of America, and Burdick's collection gives you a great chronological overview of how the sport evolves, or how sports evolves in general. Uh, so I think that really is where the value lies. Uh, the cards, the sports cards, uh, make up a small proportion of Burdick's collection, which numbered over 300,000. Uh, we have uh, 30,000 baseball cards, and then we have a variety of other sports-related cards. We thought this was a great opportunity to get out some of the football cards because the Super Bowl is happening. They're going on display Friday, January 24th, and it's a little pop-up show until uh, right after the Super Bowl.